Welcome. To the Bentley Systems training course, will you will learn how to assign supports to a MAT foundation in the program. We will now turn our attention to the program interface. As you can see, we've already created a MAT and we are now ready to assign the supports. To assign the supports, start by selecting the support tab in the ribbon toolbar. In this program, you can support your mat on either soil or on piles by using the appropriate tools. If your mat is supported on piles, you can either specify the pile as a pinned support or as a spring. For this project, we will eventually assign the soil parameter, but just so you can see the full functionality of the program, I will start by creating some piles which will eventually be deleted. To create a pile support, click on the pinned icon. Then in the data area, you can enter the pile parameters, including the concrete grade and diameter, along with the serviceability limit states. Once the pile support parameters are entered, click on the create button. In the Project Explorer, you can now click on the newly created pile data called P1. Then click on the Assign button to assign these piles to the MAP Foundation in the project. You can assign the pile arrangement by either specifying the points or by completing a table. For this exercise, I will use the table option. The table of vertices is now available in the data area where you can enter the coordinates of the points where the piles are located. For this example, I have already created an Excel spreadsheet that contains the coordinates of all of the piles that will be assigned to this map. Considering that, I'm going to copy that information from Excel and paste it into the program. After completing the table, you will notice that the piles are now visible in the main window for preview purposes. If you are satisfied with the arrangement, click on the Create button to officially assign the piles to the map. As I mentioned earlier, for this project, we are intending to design the map foundation as soil supported. So let's back up in our workflow and delete the piles we just created. To delete the piles, you can simply select them in the main window, right click, and then select delete from the pop-up menu. Now let's go through the process of assigning a soil support to the mat foundation. For that, select the support tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the create icon. In the data area, you can now enter the soil parameters, including the subgrade modulus, soil bearing capacity, and allowable settlement. Once you enter the soil parameters, click on the Create button to create this soil type in the model. Finally, click on the Assign button and assign the soil support to the MAP Foundation with the soil parameters you just entered. In the data area, click on the Assign button to complete the assignment. Notice that the graphic of the mat in the main window has been updated to reflect that there is now a soil support assigned to the mat.